Success requires discipline. To work out regularly, to eat healthy, to wake up early, to be consistent, to become a good, respected man. This is what I did initially before rewiring my brain for discipline, creativity, and productivity. I basically started identifying the activities I'm doing every day into three areas of my life. Career growth, health and key relationships, quality of life. If an activity does not fit my main schedule, there are two options for me. It's either remove them completely or use them as a reward at the end of the day. It's all up to me. You have to discipline yourself to do these things. Life is not easy. Life will not grant you wishes if you are undisciplined. Lots of boys and girls will be undisciplined if their parent does not teach them. And it's up to us to teach ourselves to be disciplined. It's not something that I was taught. I had to teach myself not to go back to my addictions, to not do drugs, to not drink alcohol, to not watch porn, to not eat unhealthy, to not spend 12 hours on my phone. I had to rewire my brain to be disciplined and understand this dopamine hungry lizard brain. I had to respond to the urges to get my work mindset on board because when it's hungry, it will drop everything for that hit of dopamine. So how did I do it? I had to know every single trigger, every cue, my thoughts, my emotions, what memories come up, what imagery does my mind paint, what does it say to you? What do you unconsciously do that you don't notice but you do it and it leads you to this habit that you do that you don't want to do? but you end up doing because this is a separate entity an entity that we all have we must master this dope hungry son of a gun we need to control ourselves in our younger years because we have a whole life ahead of us if we want to stay alive if you want to be successful think about your parents who's going to take care of them in their old age who's going to take care of your children in the future will they be homeless if you want the best of those that you love, you must discipline yourself. That means discipline that ego, that lizard brain, every urge, you must cut out all of that, all those addictions, all the BS you say on a daily basis because no one will respect an undisciplined boy. Not even your children because a real man grows up whenever they become disciplined. A real man doesn't cry about, oh, I got oh, so much paperwork. A real man doesn't cry about work. He doesn't cry about how hard his life is. He doesn't cry about the things he doesn't have. The only things that you need in life is your passion, God, family, and yourself. That's all you need, and everything else doesn't matter. If you really want to make an impact on your life, on your growth, you need to have the courage to begin and the discipline to endure because victory becomes a matter of time if you get to work if you get to doing the good habits the discipline because at the end of the day no one's going to hold your hand no one's going to tell you yeah you got to do this right now you got to do this today you didn't do that oh well because life goes on time is slipping Time is slipping at this moment. Time is slipping. I mean, what do you want to do? Do you want to become successful? Do you want to grow? You have to discipline yourself. And this took a long time for me. I, it took a, a good amount of time for me to discipline myself and actually tell myself, hey, we got to get to work. We can't do this anymore. We can't be doing these type of things anymore. We can't. Because really, in, in reality, like, Who's going to put you in that position that you want to be in 10 years? No one else but you. Because think about it. If you don't discipline yourself right now, today, just imagine in five years, you're going to be looking back like, why did I spend my time doing that? Why? I could have done something better. I could have done so much more. You know, it's, it's, it's a hassle. It's really, it's a bitch. But who's going to be complaining? Or are you going to be complaining because someone else is not going to complain? Someone else is going to put in the work. They learned the skill to discipline themselves. They didn't have to depend on anybody to, to tell them, hey, you need to go here. You need to go there. You need to do this now. 
No, they put themselves through hell to get where they're at. So I respect the man who's successful right now, that has good stuff right now, that has all what he wants because he put himself there. He disciplined himself to get there. You know, he didn't spend his time doing stupid shit, you know? He put himself into a position that he wanted to be in. So he disciplined himself in order to grow. And that's what you're doing, basically. If you discipline yourself to not watch porn, to not do drugs, to not drink alcohol, to discipline and do studying, to do work, deep work, get to work, and do something. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be looking at your day, reviewing your day, and thinking like, why did I spend all day doing that? Could have done something else that would have made me grow, right? So really just think about it. Think about what's making you like, oh, you know, I don't feel like it. There's got to be something that makes you not want to do work. There's something that it's making you like, tell, like telling yourself that, hey, I don't really feel like doing this. I, I don't want to do that. So we really look back and what's the first bad habits that you did that makes, makes you not want to do those things again. Or like doesn't make you want to do the good habits. Doesn't make you want to work, study, listen, you know, whatever, whatever it might be that you want to do a high impact on. The thing is, there's something that is making you not be disciplined. So it could either be the alcohol, it could be the women, it could be the drugs. You know, if you're watching porn at an early, you know, an early hour of the, of the day, that's also a contribution to why you're not, you know, getting anything done. Because whenever I would watch porn, like, I couldn't get anything done. I would just, my mind would just wander. I'd be somewhere else and not on my work. If I was high as hell already in the early in the morning, I was not going to do any work. If I was being a little horny boy and trying to see what girl was available near my area, I was not going to get any work done. So really just think about it. Listen to your urges. Think about what makes you go through this route of just being lazy, being undisciplined. Because there's a, there's a little habit, there's a little choice that you do in your day that makes you not want to do nothing. So really think, retrace your steps, and think about it, think about it long and hard. Oh, maybe this, it's this. Maybe I should probably do something before that. You know, before I do that, right? If I want to get work done, let me, let me do my work before I get high. Or if I want to watch porn, let me get my work done before I watch porn because I won't be focused. It's all up to you. It's all, you got to listen to your urges. You got to listen to this little, little, little voice right here. Listen to that little um, dopamine hungry lizard because there's something that is bothering you. There's something that's making you divert your attention because you need to listen to it. You need to understand it. I really had to like really listen to myself, really understand my, my choices throughout the day, my habits throughout the day to actually understand what do I keep doing that's making me not grow, not making me you know, be where I am right now. I gotta change that, let me change that, let me do something about that. Then I change, then I change that route, I change the schedule. I write down a schedule, what am I gonna do all day? If I'm free at this hour, what am I gonna do at this hour? If I have free time, let me, let me clean up. Let me at least clean up my room, do something that will be tidy, do something that will make me look more presentable. Something that is giving you uh, more of an attractive look, a more of a growth mind. Just have a growth mindset. Stop having a fixed mindset that, oh, you know, whatever, you know. Because you, you gotta grow. You have a whole life ahead of you. And if you're just like undisciplined, lazy, you're never gonna get where you wanna be. Do you wanna be where you wanna be in five years? Then get to work. Discipline yourself. Understand yourself what is making you undisciplined and change that. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Be a stone, a gemstone.